What is up guys, Moon here, aka Ethan, today I'm here for a video, um, today is the Q&A special, and I got quite the amount of questions for you, I'll be answering, uh, the ones that I, that I have, like, already saved on the computer right now, um, but, yeah, uh, I'd just like to first, uh, preface this video by saying thank you so much for, uh, sticking with the channel and being here the entire time through uh, my journey on YouTube so far, and, um, it's been... A pretty wild ride, a very long ride to uh, 200, and uh, I'm really proud of it and how far the channels came since the beginning of it. Um, looking back on my original my original videos and seeing my first Minecraft channel, or not Minecraft channel, but Minecraft Let's Play, um, and seeing just the the poor quality of it and the the terrible mic I was using. I was using my webcam mic, which is like a twenty dollar Logitech cam webcam. It was pretty bad, but I don't know. I I enjoyed you doing it, and my old headset, which was like twelve dollars, I'm pretty sure it. I, and I was playing on a laptop, like a, a Dell laptop that cost like three hundred dollars, maybe. And now I'm able to make better content for you guys, and I'm using an actual microphone now, and it's and I don't know. It's just been a long journey, and it's been very very just I've learned a lot over it over the time I've uh been doing YouTube and I've met like made so many friends doing it um just from people on like Twitter and people on uh the YouTube website and Zach and all those people um I've just made friends and it's been a great journey and uh I'm just glad you guys could be there for me uh the through the entire way so I'd just like to say thank you to you guys so much, and uh, let's get into the Q&A, guys. Okay, so the first question I pulled up here is from It's Smitty with, like, five Ts. Um, it says, in all caps, I have two questions. Number one, are you going to play any horror games? And number two, will you ever do face cam while you play? Um, so, first off, um, I actually did start playing a horror game, uh, Detention. Uh, and I, it's been really cool so far, and I, I might actually play this other horror game on Steam right now, it's getting pretty up there, it's, uh, called Tattletale, um, and it's like a Furby sort of horror game, but yeah, I've, I've been looking to do more horror games, and, uh, I used to really enjoy doing horror games when I played Slender to the Arrival back in the day, and it was pretty, it was a bad let's play, let's just be honest right now, but, I mean, it was fun, is the thing, and, uh, I had fun doing it, and, I don't know, I always had that. I always have that uh, feeling like I always like to be scared. So I mean, that's why I like to listen to a lot of creepy pasta stories and read a lot of creepy pasta stories and uh, watch a lot of horror movies. I'm a really big horror movie fan, so I don't know. Being scared is like just it's this primal feeling that's just it's like an, an adrenaline rush. So yeah, I, I will definitely play more horror games. But uh, yeah. So the second question to and answer the second question: uh, Will you ever do face cam while you play? Um, yeah, I'll do face cam when I get that all set up. Um, I haven't... I used to actually do face cam when I used to record the webcam. And it was a bad webcam. So I decided to not do face cam for for the time being in that. So hopefully I can do face cam eventually uh, when I get it all set up again. Because I did do... For a while I wasn't doing face cam in videos. But I was using the, my, uh, my DSLR camera that was a... Uh, it had pretty good quality. And so... I might use it again um, if I do face cam. It's uh, like I'd probably even then I'd probably only do it if I played horror games, like you mentioned. Uh, I'd probably only use face cam during horror games, but uh, I mean, because I, I doubt it ever. Because I'd like just the non personalization of not using a face cam. But um, yeah, that was uh, yeah. But thank you for the thank you for the question. So the two questions. <laughs> Okay, the next question comes from KK Wirt. Have you been getting into any new games lately? Uh, or recently? Well, um, yes, I have. Um, I recently uh, beat Final Fantasy 7. Or 7. Why did I say 7? I'm, I'm, I instinctively say 7. Final Fantasy 15. Dude, the 7 remake is coming out uh, in 2018, which it got postponed, but who cares, man? I, I don't mind waiting for that. It's, it's a, I'm excited for it. Uh, I like 7, but uh, I started playing... 15 recently and it's 
I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, I was actually going to play on the channel, but I decided against it because I wanted to like really just in, be able to immerse myself in the game and uh, not have to do it on a schedule. Um, but yeah, it's, it was been a really funny, really fun, ga funny, really fun game. And I, um, I like, uh, really suggested if you guys are into Final Fantasy and Square Enix and stuff, but, um, yeah, also I recently beat, uh, the po new Pokemon game, Pokemon Sun, um, Pokemon Sun and Moon, but I, I had Pokemon Sun, um, and I got really into that game for a while and I, I, I play, I still play it sometimes, um, just, uh, just cause I've been like training Pokemon, trying to complete the Pokedex, which is, it's really fun. So, I mean, yeah, I always get into Pokemon games, and, uh, a lot of Nintendo games. Um, if you guys are wanting to see me, other, like, games that I've gotten into and started playing, you guys can check out the, uh, other channel, uh, Earthlime. It's, uh, where my friend Austin and I and Morgan sometimes, we, uh, play some, like, retro video games or just console games just on the couch together. Um, it's a really fun channel, so if you guys want to check that out, that's, uh, a place where you could watch me play more of those games, but, um, yeah, uh, that answers that question, so. Also, KK War asked another question, um, also, you recently mentioned you were in a band. Speaking of music, what is your favorite kind of music slash band slash artist? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> um... Yeah, if you guys don't know, I'm in a band, like I like they said, and I'm in a, a band called Bury Me in September, and we released a single recently, but uh, with back in uh, Thanksgiving of 2016 uh, is when it was released, but uh, yeah, uh, my favorite kind of music is probably either um, metalcore slash melodic hardcore or um, uh, pop punk. Uh, my favorite band is the Amity Affliction. Um, if I had to pick a favorite pop punk man, it'd probably be uh, either Blink, which is just my old school pick, or like newer pop punk, it'd probably be Neck Deep, because I like them a lot. They have a good vibe going on. They're literally generic pop punk, and I love that. Um, but uh, the Amity Affliction's really good. They're um, a metalcore band, post hardcore. Um, they make really good music, really, really deep music. Also, uh, I like. I like some bands. I like to find new bands. Like, uh, there's some bands that I like to listen to that aren't really too big. Um, but you guys should check them out if you like that kind of music. It's uh, Shields UK. Uh, they have a really good song called I Just Feel Hate. And it's really, really good. Um, and then, let's see. Uh, Our Holler, Our Home. They have a song called uh, called Thrown to the Wolves, which is just mm, spectacular. Also, uh, Feast for the Crows is really good by them, too. Uh, but yeah, that, and answer that question i like mo i like kind of all kinds of music i like indie music too um but yeah uh i think i like pop punk and uh, metalcore melodic hardcore more so yeah uh silence 177 uh says my question is do you like waffles or do you like pancakes i like uh uh i like pancakes because they're more soft and fluffy and they're really good to eat <laughs> Uh, the Mad Shadow says, "What is the reason you started your YouTube channel, and did you ever th thought that you would have so many subscribers today?" Um. Okay, so uh, when I the reason I started my YouTube channel uh, a long time ago was because um, my friend uh, Morgan, you guys know him, uh, Morgie, and my friend Braxton, we um we used to hang out a lot and we used to play a lot of Minecraft together, <laughs> yeah, uh, we were those kids, um, we used to play a lot of Minecraft and just, like, a lot of couch co-op games together, and, um, uh, it just was really fun to do, and I wanted to share those experiences that I've, because I had, like, my best times ever playing those games, and, at the time, and, um, I wanted to share those experiences with you guys, uh, with the people, because I had seen it done on the internet before, and I was like, that looks really cool, just being able to document every time that I, uh, have really something really fun to do with my friends and me able to go back and watch that and being able to share it with you guys that that was like my main reason for starting to do the uh channel um and i had the idea of just like documenting um uh, just just the fun i've been i had been having having and uh being able to relive it whenever i wanted to so that was like one of the main reasons i started doing uh youtube and did i ever think it would get this many subscribers 
Um, when I first started doing YouTube, I didn't understand what subscribers were. Um, well, I understood what they were, like, as in there are people who were watching it, but I didn't know they super counted in popularity. Like, I thought, I, I thought subscribers were pretty liquid, and, like, they didn't really have, they didn't really hold water very much. Um, uh, so I didn't really take that into consideration when I was going into it. See, I thought likes were, like, the big thing, because I didn't really understand YouTube very much, but I do now. Um, but yeah, I guess I didn't, in answer to that question, I probably, I guess I didn't very much, but I mean, I'm really happy that it, that we have gotten this far, so, uh, thank you, The Mad Shadow, if you guys could check out his channel, it's, uh, The Mad Shadow, obviously, and, um, he does really good, uh, Let's Plays, and he live streams on Twitch all the time, he's my friend, um, but yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the next question comes from my pal, Zach Netherskulls, uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um... So, in 10 years, I actually have a, um, I have a, uh, dream, a dream job that I really want to do, um, and I want to go to college for this and everything, but it's, um, I want to be a graphic design artist, and I really want to make, uh, graphic art for, um, bands, album art, and stuff like that. I, I designed the album cover for, uh, uh, my band Single, so, um, I designed the cover art for that. Um, I really like just that whole aspect of graphic design and I really want to do that uh, so hopefully in 10 years that's what I'll be doing uh, I'll probably I'll be I'll have a nice office or something and I'll be making graphic art for bands so hopefully that's all plan that all pans out I'll put my heart to it and hopefully it does um, but yeah that's a pretty good question Zach <laughs> Okay, the next question comes from Lightning Rod MC. Let me just first say, this guy has been following my channel since, like, near the beginning of the channel. And that's just really cool that he's stuck around like that. And sometimes he dips out of the mix and he doesn't comment. He comments on a few videos and I, I always get scared that he's never going to come back. But he always does. So, I mean, I'm really happy about it. Um, yeah, there's, like, a few people who are like this and... Um, I don't, one of them didn't really comment on the, one of them didn't comment on the Q&A video, which I got pretty sad about, but, I mean, maybe they'll come back. <laughs> um, but anyway, they said, is there anything big coming up in your life? What's your favorite color? <laughs> okay, so, my favorite color is, um, I have, like, three favorite colors. I like yellow, um, I like, like, pastel pink, um, and I like cyan blue, but I like, I like, Bright yellow, bright pink, and bright blue if they're all together. It's a really good color combination. Um, also, is there anything big coming up in your life? Um, right now, not really. Just chilling. Um, I don't really think there's anything big coming up. Um, if there is, I'm going to get blindsided by it like I always do. But um, I don't know. There's not really anything big coming up. I mean, my band is planning on working on a few... Um, new uh, songs and that's pretty big I guess but other than that there's nothing really huge coming up but yeah thanks for asking man okay this person has also been one of the people who has followed my channel for quite some time about they they came into the mix when I was about like a hundred subscribers and I don't know, they've been following my channel since then but yeah uh, this comment comes from Jacob Ryan uh, do you like having shorter hair now than when you started YouTube okay guys so if you don't know um, when I started doing YouTube I had super 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 long hair like my hair was down between my shoulder blades kind of long yeah it was pretty long um and now i just got tired of when i got in high school and i had to get that shit cleaned up mate um like so i got the back of it cut if you guys have seen in my some of my videos my hair is shorter i have like long bangs though so i look pretty stupid but i like it <laughs> um but yeah in answer to that question i do like having shorter hair um Maybe I'll grow it out again sometime, but not anytime soon. I do enjoy having shorter hair. It's easier to manage, but uh, the bangs kind of get in the way. But, eh. And it's kind of harder to maintain shorter hair than it is longer hair. Because longer hair, you don't really have to cut it very often. And shorter hair, you have to cut it almost like every few months. So, I mean, eh. It's a bit... It's about, like, about... I... 80% of me likes having shorter hair, and the other one doesn't like having to cut it all the time, so, uh, yeah. The next question comes from Tennessee Outdoors. Um, do you like magic? Uh, how much do you play? 
and what kind of deck do you like to run? Uh, he's talking about Magic the Gathering. Um, and yes, I do play it. I like it a lot. It's been one of my biggest hobbies for the past, like, uh, four or three years. Um, it's really fun to play. Um, I play it, I haven't played it very much recently, um, because the new sets, I don't very, I haven't very like, much liked the new sets, like, um, I haven't checked out the Aether set yet, but I, I haven't liked, uh, Kaladesh, and I, I liked Eldritch Moon, but I didn't really get into it very much, but, um, yeah, I play it a lot, um, uh, what deck do I like to run in casual play? I do, I run a, uh, an Eldrazi, um, a, uh, first a uh, Zendikar Eldrazi, um, first uh, Eldrazi set ever, um, deck with Annihilator, and I run it uh, Reanimator, so it's mono black, and I can bring out, like, a 10-10, like, second turn, so, yeah, I like doing that, um, I like running that, and I also ran, I ran a, um, Bulgari growth deck, so I just beefed up a bunch of, like, Terra Stompers and just go ham on people, um, yeah, so, that's a pretty good question. Yeah, it's been one of my hobbies for a really long time, and I really enjoy playing it, and I suggest it to anyone who wants to get into a TCG. So. Mori asks, when will you be able to come over and make my bed again? Last time I was at Morgan's house, I made his bed. So, um, I don't know, man. Whenever you want to hang out, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, whenever we go doing that urbexing, uh, whenever, man, we can do that. And I'll, I'll make the hell out of your bed, man. If we, you you take me to Taco Bell. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I can't find the... I deleted the I deleted the video that um, they commented this on. But someone also set, commented a uh, question asking me um, what... Uh, if my band's working on any music. But, I'm, but I mentioned that earlier. But they asked me that and... Uh, I kind of deleted the video their comment was on because they forgot that they didn't really. They actually commented afterwards. Probably should have put this on the uh, Q and A video. Um, <laughs> so I screenshotted it, but I don't know what happened to it. I can't find the screenshot. But anyway, I answer, but to answer the question, uh, the question was. Um, I'm sa sorry if I can't remember who you were who asked it, um, but the the question was: um, Is your band working on any new music? And yes, uh, we're working on an EP. Uh, we haven't got any of it recorded yet, but we're uh, currently working on getting all the songs written and completely down before we go to the studio to record them. Um, but yeah, we're working on a lot more music, and uh, hopefully we'll have an EP out maybe next year, uh, maybe the end of, toward the end of this year. We don't, we're not really sure uh, what time frame it's going to be, because we still have to get all of it worked out. But yeah, just uh, if you're interested in the music stuff, go check out the band's channel and uh, like the band's Facebook page, and we'll that keeps you up to date with all the stuff we're going to uh, be doing. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, let me go ahead and tell you guys um, again that I'm really thankful for uh, all of you guys sticking around this entire time I've been doing uh, YouTube, and it's been just a wild ride, guys. Um, I've had so much fun doing it, and uh, I'll continue to have a lot of fun doing it. I know I will, and uh, hopefully over the time. I know I'll be able to deliver you guys more better content over time and it'll get a lot better. And uh, next Q&A video probably will be around whenever I hit maybe uh, 400, 500 subscribers and that's going to be a pretty good milestone for us and that's going to be a, a really fun thing. So uh, thank you guys so much for sticking around my YouTube channel. It's been a lot of me, like I said. And, um, I'll always be grateful to you guys for... Um, for uh, being there for me guys so uh yeah if you enjoyed this video uh thanks a lot i'll see you in the next one